hi guys next in our list is manage project knowledge and this may sound as trivial but it is very important in fact i have seen that a lot of students especially those who are looking at the theoretical information uh, for pmp exam tend to ignore uh, these specific chapters and sections in the pmbok guide so you shouldn't do that these are very important a lot of questions uh, may directly come from these sections or sometimes uh, you may get a scenario and then you are asked certain question uh, which would be related to these so it's very important to pay attention to all these sections so manage project knowledge is basically nothing else than managing the knowledge and when you say knowledge uh, it's um, you are going to use the existing knowledge so all the documents which you have organizational process assets uh, all of that uh, will be your seed will be your initiating point for your document analysis and from there as you progress as you progress with the project you create more knowledge and that is usually uh, i mean everything is captured in the form of documents so you as a project manager uh, are responsible for making sure that all the knowledge and all the information is well documented and captured because that will become uh, part of your seed um, information knowledge for the next project so it's very important to manage the knowledge in a project and this is performed throughout the project so it's not like you are doing it at some particular stage like we have seen uh, with a lot of processes earlier uh, but here you have to perform this process throughout the project and this is the input output diagram so you can see uh, as far as input is concerned we have a project management plan all the components anything um, and everything will be part of your knowledge management because essentially you are looking at the documents information so any piece of information is vital here so all the project uh, management plan i mean all their components and the documents then the lessons learned register uh, which is uh, maintained for all the projects so when you start a project you will have this uh, register ready uh, with the information for the previous projects then you have project team assignment resource breakdown structures source selection criteria stakeholder register deliverable uh, environmental factors and organizational process assets all of that will serve the purpose of the input here now as far as tools and techniques expert judgment is one of the most common tools and techniques in the entire uh, field of project management so that's going to be there then you have knowledge management information management which is again the way you classify and document um, knowledge uh, interpersonal and team skills active learning facilitation leadership networking political awareness and political awareness is very important i mean as soon as you are, you are dealing with human you are dealing with politics so it's very important to see to have this awareness um, you need to know what kind of information is important for the project what kind of information is not important for the project sometimes um, you may get some information which may look or sound trivial but that may end up uh, you know affecting your entire project because let's say senior management wasn't favoring that project you got uh, the go ahead uh, initially but later on you know something changed and the project was disapproved uh, which will you know and all your efforts were wasted so that's why it's very important to keep an eye on the political um, surroundings and networking leadership all are you know part of that and as you will receive a lesson learned register as input you are going to produce one so um, that is going to be your output then you have project management plan updates and organizational process assets so um, any updates you make to project management plan uh, any documentation you create uh, will be recorded as organizational process assets so let's say you started to use a scrum and now you will create you know something for backlog product backlog so that will serve the purpose of a template for research uh, for other projects so that will be your output and these are the applications which basically means that where this is used so this activity is used in you know updating the project management plan project documents and the organizational process assets 
so that's it for this but as i have mentioned earlier don't ignore these sections these are very small quick but they will give you a lot of vital information about how a project operates within an organization thank you